Hey guys, welcome to this van tour of Fiat Ducato. It's a brand new layout of ours, so let's check out inside. Uh, features a nice dine out seating area with the driving seats with a to face the uh, nice comfy cushion seat in the back so you can enjoy the views out the window whilst eating your meal. The box seat in the back of the van houses your Truma Combi boiler. This is run off the diesel and fuel tank because this van has no LPG, it's a completely gasless electrical setup. Under both the overheads, you've got a touch sensitive down light and then this one. On the near side of the van, you've got this 90 litre high level fridge. It's got a double opening hinge, so you can open it from the front or from when you're in the bed itself, which is a really cool little feature. You've got some storage up top in this shelf with a cutlery drawer, a couple of more clothing drawers down below. And it brings you to the kitchen unit here with a single induction hob. As I mentioned, it's a gasless package on this van. You've got a nice mix of tap with a, a countersunk sink and lots of storage underneath for things like air fryers and bins, pots and pans, things like that. If you want to have a shower out the sliding door of your van, you can always twist the mixer tap around and have a shower outside. The kitchen has an extra bit of flip up extension for extra worktop space. Got a little double socket area here when you're sitting outside you can put things like an air fryer outside with the electrical barbecues that you can get nowadays the shower features a timbre door from the door company and it's a really nice feature as it allows you to save on space this is a slightly larger shower cubicle with rico tiled walls uh, and a fixed in separate toilet so the toilet doesn't remove like in our other conversions it's fixed in um, and it's larger so you can shower at the same time. This little step down here is used to help you get into and out of bed and it also features as a bit of secret storage. Here are the drain down taps for the underslung water tanks. It features an 82 litre fresh and a 63 litre waste. These are both insulated and feature a water heating element to prevent freezing. Above me you can see our standard double sized bed, 1 meter 35 wide by 1 meter 90 long, recesses at the head and the foot. In the garage space you can see we've got the EcoFlow Independence electrical setup. Uh, this is an, a gasless van, so with this electrical setup from EcoFlow you get a nice touch display um, that has some switches built in so you can switch off your circuits individually. The features on the touch display and the app seem really intuitive and user friendly. So we're really impressed so far with the EcoFlow. We also feature a 540 watt solar panel on the roof of the van as well to help you maintain uh, off-grid capabilities for long periods of time. We normally install the Victron equipment, which is a bit more versatile as it's a modular setup. So you can kind of tailor the system to your individual requirements. However, this does allow you to have a bit more of a simpler install um, where everything's a bit more plug and play and user friendly um, to the self build. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Do like and subscribe to our channel for more van life content. See you next time.